Hey folks, welcome back to the channel for another scum video. So, now that the new update going nuclear is live, I'm sure we are all just getting used to the new ways of life and maybe some are struggling to understand exactly what's going on. In this video we will go through all the new systems relating to permadeath and the bank. As always folks, thanks for watching, stay safe and take care. So what is permadeath? To discourage other players from overusing the commit suicide option without consequence, we now find ourselves faced with permadeath. In a nutshell, you need to make some cash, but players can go into a negative balance and if you pass the respawn threshold which will be set by your server owner, your character will not respawn again and a new character will have to be created, meaning permadeath. So how do we actually use the bank and what does it really mean? All players have bank accounts set by default and the default balance is obviously zero. Players can deposit money on the account in the banks or ATMs located all over the map. There is no limit to the amount of cash you can deposit so make as much money as you possibly want. The most important thing here to mention is that you will need a valid credit card which comes in three forms. The starter bank card with each respawn players get this card, it's free but it doesn't have any protection which means anyone can add or remove money from the account. It can be disabled from the banker if it's lost. It has a daily limit of $500 but do not lose this card. The classic bank card which costs $100 and can be purchased at the bank or at any ATM machine. It has a one digit pin protection and it has a daily limit of $1000 for deposit or withdrawal. You will only get one free renewal if it is lost so again, do not lose this card. And finally the gold bank card which costs $5000 and can be purchased at the bank only. It has a two digit pin and a daily limit of $5000. You get 5 free renewals if lost and then you have to pay the full price each time thereafter. Most importantly with this card is that it unlocks the ability to buy gold. For each transaction the banker takes a provision of 2% while the ATM takes provision of 5%. Where do we find gold lane? And what is it used for? Gold can be bought only with the gold card at any banker in any outpost. Purchased gold is then deposited onto your account. The initial gold price is $1000 per unit. If you would like to sell your gold, the gold price is $750. You can also use gold to respawn. Gold is exclusively used for shelter respawns and nothing else, so be sure to invest heavily. So what do I need my fame points for then? The most important aspect of fame to note is that you will need fame points to buy anything from the trader and of course it mainly remains the same, especially when it comes to lockpicking. The fame influx is a constant stream of fame points that happens while you are logged into the game. It is set at a 0.05 fame points per minute in real time, which means that you basically get one fame point for each 20 minutes in game. That's three fame points per hour in real time, not bad. You can also gather fame points from doing other things like looting, farming, running and other stuff in game. I hope you can find this video useful folks and remember since the game is in early access please expect certain things to occasionally not work as they are designed but to be rest assured that they are always working on fixing each issue and appreciate any suggestions and bug reports that we the community can provide. Thanks for watching folks and I will see you all in the next one.